Now a medical breakthrough happening for stroke patients right here in the Houston area. Houston's only TV health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us once again and this new procedure is helping patients dealing with aphasia Haley. It's a it's a type of therapy. Yeah, and when therapy visits run out at other places or the patient has plateaued with progress, the Houston Aphasia Recovery Center helps people learn to live successfully with their aphasia and ability to pay isn't holding anyone back. I don't know. I wasn't connected to either one of normal conversations about sports and food are all part of a therapeutic exercise here at the aphasia recovery center. Just taking the key words of the conversation and putting them down in a visual form can really help some people with aphasia to understand what's going on in the conversation. But in general, it's a language disorder that can get better over time. That's what happened to Tom Pickett. He lost language after his stroke, and today he carries on conversations. Even when he struggles to find a word, he remembers how to figure them out. It's a problem with my uh, numbers, you know, or the letters. I go, five, five, okay, five. Tom comes here twice a week. Admittedly, he didn't enjoy it at first. Can I go, well, I don't know. And slowly, hey, how are you? Now he finds comfort in socializing with others who know exactly what he's going through. It's uh, fantastic for me, the uh, songs and singing. What a wonderful world. Today they practice for a musical, an annual tradition since singing can sometimes come easier than speaking. And eventually it all builds confidence, which can be harder than the speech to rebuild. So Kathleen says. It does not impede their intelligence. They still know what they want to say. It's just hard to get the words from here out their mouth. So the public giving someone, if they meet someone with aphasia, giving them extra time to speak, still treating them like an intelligent adult, um, and I think that they'd really appreciate it. And people with aphasia sometimes have more difficulty communicating in stressful situations like with the police or an emergency room interaction. So HARC helps by giving them cards like these that they can carry around in their wallet. It can help you open it up, give suggestions like let me write something down. Please slow down your speaking or hand gestures that they can give for yes and no. And hopefully that encourages patients to get through those stressful conversations. Keith. All right.